So today we're testing out a weapon that has recently been changed. The machine gun bow was always a little bit of an interesting one. It was almost ahead of its time in the fact that its ability essentially made it into almost a short bow before short bows were a thing. However, this bow is now actually a short bow and doesn't need the ability to be a short bow. For those of you who don't know, the way that you get the machine gun bow is essentially just through catacombs. You do dungeons and sometimes it drops. It's not very difficult to drop at all. And because of its high drop chance, this bow is ridiculously cheap at 5,000 coins. Now it has competitors, for instance like other cheap short bows, like the artisanal short bow, however it does substantially less damage and it isn't dungeonizable. You also have the dragon short bow which is obtainable in the end and good for early game at killing dragons, but it isn't dungeonizable once again. The next best thing you have to the machine gun bow is the spirit short bow. Now this was never a short bow but was changed to a short bow probably maybe close to a year ago now, it was quite a while ago. Now this forever was seen as basically... I don't know, let's see, say, the bottom layer of progression in terms of archer in dungeons or something along those lines. Considering it's 5 million coins, doesn't really have sort of requirements in the way of it in terms of, in comparison to the Juju or the Terminator, in terms of Enderman Slayer. So it sort of made sense to use this if you were going to be an archer before you could actually use a Juju. But how much better really is the spirit short bow in comparison to the machine gun bow at the end of the day this bow is 5 million coins for a clean one and the machine gun bow is 5k so just a bit of a difference well we're going to buy a clean spirit short bow and then pretty much an equally clean equivalent in the machine gun bow now let's buy that 5k now straight off the bat the spirit bow has a, a, a base damage of plus 210 and a base strength of plus 100 Whereas the machine gun bow has a base damage of 103 and a base strength of 109. But that's obviously because of the reforge, so that means that our base damage is actually going to be 69. And then our crit damage is also plus 17%. The spirit bow has a cooldown of 0.8 seconds. And the machine gun bow has a cooldown of 0.5, which is actually quite interesting. The spirit bow is actually going to be stronger against undead monsters too. But it's time to start upgrading these two bows. But well, before we do, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROLES, it gets yourself 5% off. Also, you should subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of people who watch the videos and aren't subscribed, so make sure you do subscribe. And finally, join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of this video. We do things like dungeon carries, slayer carries, you should join. Okay, we've upgraded both of these bows. Not massively, because I don't want to spend too many coins on it, and at the end of the day, if you're going to get a 5,000 coin bow, you're not going to spend a ton of coins on upgrading it anyway. They're both five star, they're both spiritual, they both got off potato books, and they both have identical enchantments. Okay, we're going to use this Necron set with the Tarantula Helmet to test. And I don't feel like using a Golden Dragon is going to be very accurate. Well, I mean, it's going to show the same difference in damage anyway. I feel like if you've got one of these bows, you're probably going to be using something like a Skeleton Pet, I would assume. Ain't no way they're 23 mil. Alright, okay, whatever. Content, I guess. Yeah, man. Okay, let's do a quick little damage test. First of all, with our spirit short bow, we are going to deal, definitely not 12k damage, around about 172, 173. Let's call it 170, because, that, oh, 175. Yeah, let's call it 175. And then with our machine gun bow, we are going to deal 89k, 90k damage. So, outside of dungeons, the spirit bow does around about 85k more damage than the machine gun bow. Which I guess is expected, just taking a quick look at the actual base stats. Now, something that's very interesting is that the spirit bow has a higher cooldown than the machine gun bow, which means, in actual terms, the machine gun bow will make up a little bit in terms of damage, just in terms of DPS rather than one hit damage. And you can see it, if we hold down our right click with the spirit bow, it actually shoots relatively slowly, I guess. In comparison to the machine gun bow, which is much, much, much quicker. And what I mean is basically the, the, the time in between each arrow is shot is substantially reduced on the machine gun bow. Now, of course, all of this is relative and is changed by bonus attack speed too, but the actual base stats will still remain. Now, if we go into something like a floor three, I guess, just kind of see what sort of damage we do obviously this is not going to be probably accurate in terms of you know transferring to your profile because my magical power is like i don't need to use these two weapons but it's just a comparison my magical power is probably higher at this point if you're considering these two weapons and what yours is so my damage is probably going to be higher but the percentage change should still be the same and testing it over things like clearing should also also still be pretty much the same too 
So this is now the spirit bill. Uh, let's test our damage. Okay, we're going to deal around about 5.5 million, which honestly is actually pretty good, I've got to say. You've got to bear in mind that this hasn't really got any major enchantments on either. Now, if we switch over to our machine gun bill, let's have a look at the damage, what we're actually dealing, if I could actually get a proper... That's 2.6 million. So, honestly, it's kind of consistent with outside of dungeons, let's be real. Now, let, let's let's say, for instance, you can one-hit with both weapons. Which weapon is better for clearing? Honestly, I've got to give it to the machine gun bow because it's got a higher fire rate, and that's the bottom line. It's actually really nice to see weapons like the machine gun bow that were basically just a novelty when you first started playing the game and weren't really massively useful turn into a weapon that is actually genuinely usable and for a very cheap, cheap price, which is nice. See, that was a, that was a lost adventure. Um, it was gone pretty quick. That is because it is 4-3. Okay, we have a Shadow Assassin here. This is our machine gun bow. Once again, it isn't really anything just to say that I can one-hit it, but... However, in practice, there is actually a quite noticeable difference between the fire rate on both weapons. Like, the Spirit Bow just isn't quite there. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the damage difference is ridiculous. Um, it kind of makes more sense to think of the Spirit Bow as more of a sniper, and the machine gun bow more of a, let's say, a machine gun. However, back in the day, you would have had to get a Juju, and back in the day, Juju was Enderman Slayer 5. So we've come a long way in terms of Archer. This is actually really nice. Previously, Archer was basically not usable in, ter in terms of dungeons or pretty much anywhere, really, other than dragons. But now you've got actual options, like a machine gun bow at a really early game, Artisanal and Dragon, outside of dungeons, you've got a Spirit Bow, Juju, and then Terminator. Like, it is definitely going in the right way. It just makes Archer, especially at early game with a machine gun bow, actually viable. And it's honestly something that I'm going to test out on my Iron Man, because, I mean, at the moment I'm using uh, using an aspect of the dragons, going berserk, and it's not exactly ideal. Now, I've got to say, for a weapon that you can pay 5,000 coins for and upgrade it yourself a little bit, and it won't cost you really too many coins, or just simply play a few dungeons and get it, it is really not bad. Now, there's no doubt about it, this weapon is going to give this weapon a run for its money. The damage is, yeah, not quite there. Um, it's got better fire rate. It's way, 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 way cheaper. Don't get me wrong, this weapon isn't going to challenge a Juju or a Terminator, but it is definitely a very, very good option, especially if you're on a bit of a budget for earlier game. It is actually genuinely good. It's better than trying to use an artisanal in dungeons that isn't dungeonizable and wondering why you can't do any damage. And the fact that this weapon has basically always been in the game as some sort of a short bow is actually quite interesting and quite clever that they've chose this weapon to become a short bow. Anyway, I think that will just about wrap up today's video. Honestly, Machine Gun Bow, you've done good. It genuinely is good. I'm just going to say it. Well, it's not in comparison to other weapons, but the price, it is not bad at all. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.